Doctor. Hey. Hello, Ed. How are you? Uh, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, good to good. see you guys. Good to see you. Connie and Alan are great clients. They come in often, they bring in Thelma and her sister Louise to see me all the time. You know, they're partners in crime. What is going on with my girl Louise today? Uh, lately, maybe the last two days, she's not been as energetic as usual. And she had a mess in the restroom last night. Is she having any vomiting? No, not that we've noticed at all. I give them boiled chicken after supper every night, mm -hmm. and she wouldn't take that. I've been seeing Louise for, what, three years now? Four, almost four no, years? Four. And something ain't right when she turned down food. We're planning on going to our farm next week and be there for most of the summer, so we want to make sure she's up to snuff before yeah. we go. Absolutely. Where's that man? We had to leave her at home and she says it was killing her. Yeah, I'm just, I'm like, the twins. That's right. <laughs> but Thelma's doing okay. She doesn't have any GI upset. She's right fine, now. No. She's fine. Louise, is it possible she has eaten something in the yard? How about acorns? Do acorns have a bad effect on dogs? Like anything that's abrasive, it can cause GI upset, especially if she just swallows them whole. The other part of it is, depending on the environment that it's been in, so if it's been in the mouth of another animal and there's bacteria sitting on it, the bacteria can cause a GI upset. I think what I want to do is start with a rectal smear. And a fecal smear will, will end So that. rectal smear. Rectal smear. Fecal smear typically looks for actual uh, parasites that are in the feces. So like you're looking for different eggs or cysts. What I'm looking for are change in bacteria. Okay. So I'm actually going to get a smear of the rectal okay. area to look at it and say, what bacteria do we have present here? We've all got bacteria in our GI tract, but there should be a nice mix, a good balance. If there's an abundance of one type, that tells me there's an overgrowth. Or if I have bacteria that should not be there, for example, Clostridium in a mass amount or Spirochetes. Any of those let me know that this is the reason why the dog is having diarrhea and it tells me how to treat it. Come on. You're gonna have to go with you. Yeah, come on, girl. Come on. Here, follow that. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. All right. What's her name? Louise. Louise. Mr. and Mrs. Stott. Thelma and Louise. Yeah. What's going on? She's having some gas, and then she's just kind of acting lethargic. It's OK. I know. I know. Oh, that's like actually blood. Yeah. If it was just feces. That means that, you know, there's maybe some diarrhea, but I mean, she's bleeding into her colon. When you have blood in the feces, you have to be concerned because blood is a perfect media to grow things. So all the bacteria that lives naturally in your intestines and your colon can feed on that blood and start to have an actual overgrowth, which will lead to certain toxins being produced. So I am a little concerned because with her being lethargic, I'm wondering if she's becoming anemic, but I definitely think we got a bacterial overgrowth. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him, let him know what we're gonna do, and then I'll be right back. All righty. So. <coughs> you lost our dog? No, <laughs> no, no, no. She's just in the back having a good time. <laughs> so what I did find, it was blood, okay? It was truly blood in there. And you typically have your two main types of bacteria, your rods and cocci, uh, rounded ones and kind of elongated rod, like little ones. And there's more cocci than rods. And I tend to like to see more, almost of an equal mix. What my concern is is that that bacteria is thriving and causing the diarrhea and the bubble guts and the gas production, um, which is going to, in turn, lead to more bleeding of the rectum. We need to correct that for sure. I'm going to send you home with some antibiotics and some probiotics. Those are going to be oral. The probiotics will actually seed the gut with good bacteria that we want as a part of their normal bacteria flora to help with production. Should we bring her back in before we head out? I think it's ideal for me to have a look at her. Sounds good. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Kayla will be bringing How's her you? back in shortly. How's your wife? As, oh, she's... She's getting out there. Good. Is she really healthy? Do we know? It's a girl. Girl, yay! Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I'll let her know you asked. Sure. Yeah. All right. Give me a couple minutes. All right. We'll All see. Right. Okay. I think it's real nice that people want to have an insight and care enough to even ask you how you and your family are doing, especially when they're there for their babies, you know? They're trying to get their dog or cat, chicken duck fixed and looked at. And it's one of those things that they take the time out to ask about you. I think that shows a, a great deal of character, and I appreciate it. Hey, Louie. All right, Dr. Lucius, filling some meds for you. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. How'd you do, girl? Hey, 
Dr. Ross, you've got Gergi here for a recheck. Okay. That's what he Hello. thinks. Hello. Hello. How you guys doing? Doing good. Doing good. Gergi. Just chilling with Gergi. How's Gergi been? He's doing a lot better. So we're not He's been, um, anymore. We're sneezing a little bit with the pollen. Okay. I'm not overly shocked. Good, good, good. Oh, no, He's running away. Oh, don't Gergi. He's oh. having none of it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And you already got one bandage on, why not have another? <laughs> so, um, listen to the lungs, listen to the part. Everything sounds really good. We don't hear any crackling, any wheezing in the lung field. So that lets me know that the medication uh, did its job. So I would continue with that last dose of medication. As far as mites, I didn't see any mites. Um, we don't see any other. Um... No, and actually his coat texture changed. OK. As soon as we got rid of the mites, he went from kind of greasy coarse to being very soft. So that's good. So that lets me know we're heading in the right direction. He is so cute and adorable. <laughs> I wish I could just snuggle along. Look... Maybe arranged. That could be arranged. That could be arranged. <laughs> that could be arranged. <laughs> Get out of here. We got to go to work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a nice one. All right. <laughs> bye bye. There he is. Hi. There he is. All right. How y'all doing today? <laughs> good. 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 So good, good to see, see you. Ya. You brought Thelma and Louise. Last time I saw Louise, she had some gastrointestinal issues going on. Now she's back for her recheck, and I want to see if the probiotics and the antibiotics kind of clear things up for her. You're a miracle worker. No way. <laughs> yep. She's back. A lot of times you'll, you'll find, like, when these guys have that either diarrhea or loose stools, you know, the colon becomes irritated. So the colon's job is to absorb the water out of the feces for the body to reuse it before it actually releases the solid fecal ball. If you're having diarrhea, the colon isn't absorbing the water. It's staying in the colon. That's why it's running out and flushing out. So when you have that, you have the loss of not only water that you would normally retain, creating dehydration, mm -hmm. but you lose a lot of your electrolytes and proteins in your feces. So then the body is drained. I got the blood results back. The laugh looked perfect. Yay, good. There's, there's not one abnormality. Good. That's great. So you got to be able to run along your sister. And chase rabbits. There you go. Chase rabbits. <laughs> they are rabbit chasers. <laughs> Louise is doing so much better. She and Thelma now can go back into their normal lives and get into their little adventures, as long as they don't get into too much trouble, like those girls in that movie. Thank you very much. We're very relieved. Okay, Thank you. Matt, you all, all right. have a great Thank trip. You. Thank you, Dr. Blue. I'll see you guys later.